Hello everybody, my name is Brick. Bricky, if you are feeling a little bit fancy, welcome back to more of the long dark. It is cold as hell out here. In fact, it is so cold, I no longer trust that coming outside is a very good idea. Because, wow, it is cold. Perhaps it might be good to make a fire instead, but that doesn't seem like the best idea because it's so damn cold. Oh my god. I cannot chill out there. This is just a bad idea. It's just a bad idea. No, not not good. Okay. Well, in that case, I am going to chill up here for a little bit and hopefully get rid of some, I don't know, maybe, maybe some other stuff I can, I can mess with. Like this damn piece of, of hat, this damn Canadia hat, whatever the hell Canadia is. But I've got some wet clothes. And I would really like to be able to, uh, you know, oh no, I have no weapon. Oh right, my weapon. Oh, there's just that. That's right, I placed my weapon somewhere out and about. I need to figure out where I put it. Uh, where is that thing I just picked up? Here you are, worn down vest. I'm going to harvest you as well. I gotta remember where I put my weapon. I, I don't remember where I put my gun. Because I am going to need that gun. And I am also definitely... Ah, uh, I think this is the drawer, right? Yep, alright. And I am also definitely going to need something for the, uh... For the bear, I guess? I need... I need to not die via... Like, a sprain. That's what scares me the most. Is that I could just... Possibly sprain my leg while running away from the bear and things would get really bad really fast Oh a trash can letter Wait, where did that get placed is it in my journal side of things? Uh, Milton I ah, here we go examine. I am so fucked off at you. I, I guess you told me the forest talkers were legit and we'd be doing a bunch of good work out here. All I've seen is right a bunch of dummies who are disorganized and have no plan. It's way too cold to be out here this time of year and the wildlife. I mean, you couldn't tell me there would be actual wolves out here. This is crazy. You can hear them outside at night howling. It's making me crazy. What are we doing here? People said Great Bear was hit by hard by the quakes, but man, I had no idea it was so stuck in the dark ages. You owe big time for bringing those supplies. And if the weather doesn't warm up soon, I'm out of here. And you will not be seeing me again anytime soon. Well, if that's the man over there who we weren't supposed to be seeing again anytime soon, well, he 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 did it all right. He's not he's not going to be seen. Anymore. He is not going to be seen anytime soon. That's a damn truth. There's a lot of water in those to in those toilets, but I don't really think it's it's worth much. At least not now. Lots of cloth still. Lots of broken metal doors and crap. I've got a lot of food on me still, which is good. Not much to do on the stairwells anymore, though. Also, without power, I can't open some of these areas, but I wonder... See, that's the turbine room down there. Oh, yes, yeah, so I got a pry bar. What's in you? Nothing. Of course nothing. Of course nothing. This will come in handy. Oh, two flare shells. Nice. Nothing over there. Cardboard box, crate, crate. Nothing right there. Hmm. <clears throat> See, I need to get the power on, it would seem. But... I don't know how to do that. Still can't open this gate. Not even with my pry bar. But I, I, I want to get the power on, because there's some things I need to obviously look at and, and go through. I, I got that one thing, though. Uh, I got a key. Admin office key. No. Uh, that way, that's the staging area. Aid station medical key. There's the radio parts, which was good. Right. Key to lake cabin number three. That was a thing. Oh. And lake. Where's the lake? Here it is. One of these cabins has something in it. I also need to make sure I get back to the hunter before he dies. But it's way too cold to go out on my own. Ah. Yeah, I can't touch the numpad until the power is fixed. 
Nothing in the file cabinets. Oh, these file cabinets can still be searched. Nothing. Of course. Okay, I opened all the drawers. <sighs> Obviously can't go through the elevator. Well, goddamn. And it's still freezing cold outside. Wait, is that a drawer? Oh, hang on a drawer. This stuff will come in handy. Oh, I can work with that. Oh, more file cabinet. Damn. There's a lot that I didn't grab in here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, sprain risk, I know. I was waiting for that. I'll break it down sooner or later. Okay, let's break down. These look, look the, these look like the exact same. Actually, this one's better. Wow. Strange. Didn't think that would be the case. Alright, a little bit extra never hurt anybody. It's still really windy outside, unfortunately. Alright, gloves. Uh, even though that one is a little bit wet, it is still the better version. Harvesting. Leather. Next one. Harvesting. Leather. I should drink some water of some kind. Yeah, I'm just gonna drink some water. Actually, I got a lot of sodas. I might as well drink some sodas, because it refills my food just a little bit. Still nothing really to do with the workbench besides some fishing equipment. Metal shelf. Oh, accelerant. I could use that. Hmm. Oh, I need another hacksaw for that one. Wait, we mean searched. Oh, yeah. That's right. The sweater. Ragged thick wool sweater. New thin wool uh, sweater. Mackenzie's sweater. I think this thing would probably be better if I repaired it. This might be better than the thing I'm currently wearing. It says thick, so... Yeah, yeah, it definitely is. Okay, I'm gonna repair it fully and then wear this guy instead of my other guy. Whatever extra stuff I can have, I will use. Alright, you harvesting. All the cl extra cloth. God damn. And now, where are the other sweater? Still no accessories. Alright, well, this is nice and all, but it's still insanely windy. You know what I need? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna break this bad boy down. Oh, I don't have my my axe. Oof. Oh, it stopped. Now's the time. Too heavy. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna drink my sodas. Ah, uh, crap. Yeah, yeah, you are heavy. Yeah, you are heavy. Crap. Ah. Mm. All right, screw it. I need my gun. Too much stuff to carry. All right, yeah, I'm pretty overboard right now, but I don't really have much, much many other options right now. Okay, where's my fire? Actually, I'm gonna drop a bit of my water. That was a, that was a decent amount. I need I need to drop. Where's fire? That's fire. Yeah, I need to draw some of my wood. Um, I got so many matches. I don't need as many matches, but still. Firewood. That's one kilo. You know, I mean, weapons. I don't want to get rid of my pry bar, but I think I might. You know, I don't want to get rid of my storm lantern, but I think I might. Lots of flare shells, lots of rifle ammunition, that doesn't take up- Oh, I got two lanterns, there we go, I can get rid of one, and... Goodbye, pry bar, pry bar, sorry. Not what I want, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Alright. What time is it outside? There we go. Yeah, this is good. Alright, map. I said map. I need to at least get my way to either the lookout or the camp office. If I can make my way there, I think I'll be okay. 
Though, I'm sad that I had to leave my pry bar behind. But, I'm assuming things just aren't this heavy on the heart, on the, you know, normal difficulties. Oh boy. Oh boy. Why am I moving so slow? What is that down there? Is that a person? My character is moving like really slow. And I have no idea why. That's a wolf. Of course. Of course. Really? Ah, crap. Ah, crap. Firing this gun is a bad decision. Because it's gonna alert the bear, I'm positive. Uh, I don't know why I'm moving so slow. Okay. I am making some distance. Oh boy. Well, I don't feel good about that at all. Well, now I feel like an ass. I get it. It was coming at me. I get it. But I don't feel good about it. Actually... Yeah, you know, it's sprain risk, but I'm gonna make a fire inside that thing over there. And I'm gonna take what I can. Take me two hours to do this. We'll do this. Not my personal favorite option, but I guess it'll have to work. All right. I'll make it for as long as I can probably make it. Oh, I'm gonna drink. This might actually be useful. There we go. Save me a couple, couple hounds of some kind. Oh boy, where am I? Alright. That lookout actually might be the better- Oh, it's all the way up there? Oh no, I don't know about that. That's worse than I thought. I might- uh, The cabin. The cabin is probably my best option. I'm not feeling too good about my odds, but I've got at least plenty of pain meds and such that I can... If I do sprain my leg, I should be okay. I could probably walk it off. Wolves never ran at me before. They would always just kind of growl at me and then leave me alone. At least back when I was in Milton. I wonder what changed. I wonder if this is like higher difficulty or something. Because that was freaky. Did not like. Did not appreciate. Still got that sprain risk. At least I've got a decent amount of, you know, crackers, granola bars, etc. You know, I don't I didn't have the rifle in the first round in the first time in Milton. Would have probably been Holy crap, that scared the hell out of me. Will this freak it out? Alright. Alright. Good. I thought it would. 
Whew. Okay, good. Glad to see that that thing freaks the wolves out so I don't need to waste any cartridge ammo. Or cartridges. Cartridges in my rifle. Okay. Okay, good. 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 Thank God. I'm gonna- I'm gonna save like two of those just in case I, you know, actually need to call for help for something. But thank God. That would have been really unfortunate. All right, how we doing? How we doing? All right, just around the corner. I'm getting really tired, and that doesn't make me feel good. But I, uh, the cabin is right around the corner. I could probably get there, spend spend the night. I'm pretty I'm pretty sleepy. Spend the night, cook some of my wolf meat, eat some of said wolf meat. Still feel bad about shooting the wolf. I mean, I shouldn't feel bad. It's a survival situation, but damn. Ah, damn. We're almost there. See, I'm pretty sure... Sprinting will cause a sprain. Or have a higher chance of spraining something. That makes sense. But... Still. Whoa, what was that? Not sure why I feel so tired. Not sure why I feel so tired. You should know exactly why you haven't slept in quite some time. And I've been sprinting. And you shot a wolf. Your emotional stress is probably off the charts right now. Come to think of it, you're handling it quite well. Oh, it's just lights. Alright. Wait, was I here before? I thought I was, but this doesn't look... Oh, no, this is the right. This is the same area. It didn't look two-story when I first checked it out. Alright. Let's put you away. No need to accidentally shoot something. Start fire. Accelerant. Yeah, I'm gonna use my accelerant. Or, actually, is there... Nah, that doesn't really help me. Alright. I'll try the regular one to start off with. Just in case. It's only a 60% chance, but I'd like to... I like to hope. Come on. It's a little bit more than a coin flip. Sweet. Turned out pretty well. Yes, it did. Alright, add fuel. We'll add some uh, reclaimed wood. Now let me cook this slab of wolf meat. Ah, but there's the only one cooking slot, which is a bit unfortunate, but oh well. Radio. Is this? Oh, that's a side office. Oh, it's a first aid kit in here. Oh. <laughs> Something in the first aid kit. Drawer. Any is Oh, Did that looks like a whetstone. Oh, nice. Very nice, actually. I believe, if I recall correctly, I left some stuff in here. Um, though I'm trying to remember. Was it the top shelf? Yes, it was. Of the filing cabinet. Yep. One of my hatches was inside of here. Uh, I got some reclaimed wood as well. I guess I'll take some of that. Hour till ready? Eh, I'll wait. Getting really tired though. Eat. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Affliction, risk of intestinal parasites. Game meat from carnivores... Car carnivorous. <laughs> Animals may be infected with parasites. Avoid eating more meat from carnivores. Well, shit. All right. I'm gonna sip on a delicious summit soda before I go to bed. But I'm gonna I'm gonna have a nice rest, a long, nice rest. In a bed, of all things. All right. Let's do like a ten-hour sleep. Let's just let's just have a good long sleep. Yeah, I knew it would heal my sprain risk. Ah, oh, this, this that would be nice. A 10 hour sleep. Oh god. Okay, uh, that's why we have our lantern. Damn, it's also quite windy. That guy who drank his own pee doesn't seem so crazy right now. I mean, yeah, probably, but... Not what I was good at. 
That's fine. We got lots of water anyway. All right, let's start another fire. Cook some more. Uh, I'm gonna use my accelerate on that one. We add fuel. I got more of that reclaimed wood. Perfect. All right, let's extinguish extinguish you. It says don't eat meat from carnivores. Which is unfortunate, because I would like to eat more of his wolf meat. But if that is the case... I'm gonna do it anyway. Just be- just because I wanna- I wanna fill my hunger meter all the way up. I'm sorry, but... I feel that it is required. 4%? That ain't the worst. I can work with that. A delicious soda. Yummy yummy. And what time is it? It's almost the morning. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna... I'm gonna sleep in a bed for a quick second. Oh yeah, I should probably grab one of my hacksaws. The 77% one. And let me actually go ahead and... Sharpen the damn boy. Actions, sharpen. There we go. You know, you know, two more hours of sleep wouldn't hurt anybody. Uh, two more hours of sleep. Two, two more hours of sleep never hurt anybody. Just a little bit of extra sleep. Wonderful. Oh, crap. The lantern just, yeah. God damn it. I had a feeling that might happen, but I thought it would turn itself off. It did not. God. <sighs> Alright, whatever. Screw it. Let's get out of here. Well, I might get some infection- uh, some stomach parasites of some kind, but at least I'm full. Seriously, with the wind? <sighs> I need to cook something for myself. Do I've got do I got any kind of I got some rose hips, but not enough. I don't have any tea. Oh wait, I do have tea. I'm starting a lot of fires today. 55% chance. Let's hope this works. Of course it's gonna be still windy. I might I might take my chances in the cold so long as I can get myself that like Warmed up uh, affliction or whatever it's called benefit. Oh, wow, I can't believe it actually works. All right. All right, let's see. Cook, cooking pot. Uh, a cup of coffee could be actually pretty good. Let's do a cup of coffee. There we go. Nice cup of coffee. Nice. That worked out just as much as I would like it to. Alright, I don't hear any noise, but that could just mean that it's... It could mean nothing. It means nothing. Oh, I move faster when not tired. Gotcha. I'm assuming my sprint also recharges quicker. Damn, you move fast. Wait, did I get the well rested? Oh no, fatigue reduced. And warming up, thank god. Oh, I should be able to make it, make it there in time. Just as long as I don't run into the bear. I hope I didn't wait too long. I think I heard a wolf. Crap. Yep. Oh wow, no, not that. Yeah, I'm pretty damn sure I heard a wolf. Wait, or it's just the wind. I don't know anymore. Oh god.
Okay, well, I heard it from this direction, so I think it might just be the wind. Thank God. Mmm. Body temperature. Going down, down, down. Down, down, down. There's the tunnel. Excellent. I have yet to see the bear. Would he be out in this weather, though? I don't think he would be. At least he shouldn't be. Oh, God. Oh, God, it's freaky. Hmm. There we are. Oh, I gotta go fast. Oh, my meter is dropping. Wow, my meter is dropping. Come on, man, don't you know running is supposed to warm you up? Oh, I'd be- I would be dead if I, uh... Wait, do I not have gloves on? Oh, no, I do. They're just very cold. Speed. Speed. Speed, speed. There it is. Right over here. We're almost there. We are almost there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. escape this cold. Oh, wait a minute. Even if it goes all the way down, I don't think it kills me. I think it just puts me into hypothermia. Oh, yeah, it does. Well, I still don't want to have hypothermia. That still kind of sucks. There we are. This is a weird way to go up to his house. Damn. Alright. We're good, though. We're in. We made it. Just barely. I would have definitely gone hypothermia if I had not done that little thing with the- with the soup or whatever. You alive, buddy? He's about to be. <clears throat> oh, shit. Oh, that's smart. That was an interesting animation. Take it easy. <laughs> You're pretty banged up. You're probably a bit delirious, too. I just gave you a shot of some heavy antibiotics. Might feel funny for a while, but it'll help. It means you're gonna need some time to recover. Time? I uh, don't have time. For what? I need to get a message out. It's important. <laughs> message? You mean to your friend? Asking for medical help? Never mind that. Wait, what? Help me up so I can look at the radio. Let's see if the parts you brought back are any good. I... I don't trust... that you're gonna... Oh, dear. Well, he's messing with the radio, all right. That's a military shortwave, isn't it? Yeah, he looks a little military. I know a bit about radios. It's not like any surplus I've ever seen. Uh, damn it! Oh, this way he's like ex-military. Uh, parts look fine. So, whatever's wrong with the radio goes deeper than that. What could it be? Uh, something to do with the power. <laughs> well, that makes Jesus. sense. Transformers, maybe. Yeah, the the dam the was not working. First. That bear's out there. He's a smart old bastard. He'll keep us from getting out, getting supplies, finding help. The bear boss Eventually, fight. He'll either get us or starve us out. Where's my bear boss fight? Ah! Oh. I gotta lay down. Help me back to the bed. Okay. 
bear. What's this unfinished business between you and the bear? Well, you try to kill each other. Uh, me and the old bear. Every time we meet, we make a little trade. And what do you trade? <laughs> each other's blood, mostly. Uh -huh. Sounds like a losing proposition. Oh, I'm sure it will be. For one of us. He's weird. This guy's weird. The main reason I'm out here is I'm looking for someone. Uh huh. <laughs> you won't find too many people out here. Yeah, true. I haven't found a perfect uh, point. Yep. Yeah, there's like nothing out this here. Is someone important to me. A woman. She may have passed through here a few days ago. She might have been injured. What makes you think she came through here? Ah, is that not she passed through the tunnel leaving Milton. But then... I'm not sure. Perseverance? I don't know. Well, the roads from Milton don't lead this way. Okay. Wherever she's headed, you'll have to cross the mountains to find her. Not an easy path. Even for the most experienced outdoorsman. But... I'll do whatever it takes. Yeah, apparently. Won't get far with that bear on the prowl. What we need is to get my radio up and running, so we can find out what the hell is going on. Uh, quakes of some kind, or Maybe is that someone out there has seen your friend beforehand? Well, it doesn't matter. We gotta, we gotta do the thing. We gotta do the thing with the with the radio. The I'm looking for. She might be on her way to a place called Perseverance Mills. You know it? Yeah. Shit, nothing town, north part of the island. Damn. Sounds about right. Hardcore. Yeah, I know it. We were on our way there, my passenger and I, when we crashed. I need to find a way to get there, or contact her. See if she's alright. You sure she's alive? Uh, no. Yeah. Oh. I'm sure. Oh, I got, oh. Normally I'd make some calls on the old shortwave. Whole area's been damn quiet since those lights in the sky. Even the wildlife's acting strange. I'd have an idea. Like the bear. Your idea is... You said you had an idea. B bruh. What do you have in mind? Well, it's a long shot. But I may know how we can find out about your friend. I'm listening. Uh-huh. This shortwave. I use it to keep an ear open for what's going on. Also, uh-huh. So how do we get the radio working? Well fed. No reason I can see why it shouldn't be working. Well fed in the middle of conversation. Well, what about more parts or another radio? Didn't we already we discuss this? Another radio. But I think I have a better idea. I know where another radio is. The only campsite. It's no use with the old bear out there. Your path to a working radio. Uh huh. And our survival. Sorry for the background noise. It's through that bear. They're still doing the kitchen. We have to find a way to deal with him first. Shoot him. I'm ready. Okay. So we have to deal with the bear. But you're half dead, and rifle shots don't seem to do much. So... More rifle shots. The old bear... He's special. I've been hunting and trapping for years, and I've shot a lot of bears. But I've never encountered anything quite like him. A special bear like that. Need special magic to bring him down. I can cast uh, fireball. Magic? <laughs> don't worry. I'm not delirious. I don't mean literal magic. But we need the old knowledge. The old ways. What do you have in mind? A larger a rifle. A local legend, maybe. About one of the original settlers of this place. Spence. The story goes something like this. Spence. Spence shows up and sets up his claim shanty with his young family in tow. For generations, the family okay. of traders in the Hudson's Bay Company. Old voyageur stock, they say. Hard people. Survivors. One day, a bear shows up and menaces the homestead. Spence takes a shot at the bear, but it doesn't seem to do anything. Bear wanders off, but Spence's wife, she takes a turn, slips into fever. For days, delirious, she screams about the bear. 
Local doctor can't do a thing for her. Neither can the priest. Aw, oh, damn it. The priest later, was my was the biggest chance. Goes missing. And they find him. Just a body. Ravaged. Spence fears for his wife and kids. He's convinced some evil bear spirit is trying to kill them. Revenge for some slight in the past, maybe. Something in the family history. Spence gets some men together for a hunting party. The they karma go out bear. Into the musk egg and track something big for days. Eventually corner it. Ah, it's a big son of a bitch. Biggest bear they'd ever seen. Man killer. Story goes, they empty their rifles into the bear and it just walks away. Like it's made of stone. They call it the demon bear after that. Wife's dying now. Spence believes the bear's evil spirit is killing her. Okay. Her soul. He can't get anyone to join him on another hunting party. They know rifles don't work. So he forges a spear. Like a boar spear, but bigger. From some old Hudson's Bay trapper's wisdom, apparently. He goes out into the muskeg, disappears for days. And then one morning, the wife's fever breaks. But nothing from Spence. Some men go out looking for him. And they find him, half dead, blood all over him, body torn almost in two. The bears work. And the last thing he says is, Spear stole the bear's soul. My wife is now free. And then he's gone. So, uh, did he kill the bear? Obviously he not. Knows. Never found a carcass. They buried Spence, took the spear back, and hung it over the mantelpiece in the Spence homestead. Never saw that bear, or any other, again. Years later, after the Spence family faded to obscurity, wealthy land baron bought the spear to hang in his hunting lodge. Uh-huh. Just so he could tell that story, I imagine. So, do you believe it? The story of the demon bear? Yes, the demon Spears bear. The earth soul? What? No, of course not. I, I might spend all my time alone in the wilderness, but I'm not crazy. Uh, old stories sometimes have truths hidden in them. Spence might have been superstitious, but he had the right idea. Ten inches of cold, hard steel might do what a bullet can't. I'm convinced. A spear's the way to kill that bear. And you need to get Spence's bear killing spear if we're gonna survive the winter. Bear killing the spear. Is still there. A couple of days' journey south. Couple of days? Follow the tracks the other way, through the muskeg, and you'll find it. If the couple spear's there, days. get it. It might be our best hope. Days? And the radio? You deal with the bear, and let me worry about the radio. <laughs> now, let me rest. Now, the hunter, the hunter has a fear Watch or for a demon, a fever, right? Because he's the got the soul crushing bear. The demon bear, goody, retrieve the spear from the hunting lodge. Well, where is that? That is not even that far. Unless this is like me leaving. Oh, I think it is just me leaving. What's in here again? Oh, right. All the fuel and antibiotics, flare shells, lantern. Ah, it still has got some stuff in it, too. I'll take some coal. Ha! Huh. Well, all right. I guess we're going to go to the train cabin area. Is it still super windy? Oh, thank God. Well, all right. Sure, man. I'll do it. I see no reason why not. It's so bright and pretty now. Cold, sure. Oh. Yeah, mm, yeah it's probably worth it. Ooh. 
What? Are you... I... I don't know how that missed. I honestly have no idea how that missed. Unless that thing takes more than one shot or two shots. But this seems like a solid rifle. I... I... Okay. Sure, man. Wait, birch bark. Can oh, I can make tea with the bark. Ooh, sweet. How in the world did that not die? D did I miss? I don't think I missed. My crosshairs looked pretty on point. I. I, I don't know. I don't know. I was I was pretty sure I I was pretty sure I landed that shot right there. I was pretty damn sure I landed that shot right there. I'm just saying. I was really damn sure I landed that shot. That just seems like pure shenanigans right there. That was my food. I mean, it shouldn't take me too long for the rest of my food to, or for my hunger meter to... Actually, no, it, it takes a pretty long time for my hunger meter to go down. That's like, that's like the easiest meter to handle is hunger, surprisingly. Rest is more difficult. But that's because sprinting really... That's a wolf. There's a wolf by the train tracks. Mm. I have no real interest in... In hurting the wolf. But, uh... I will want to keep it away. I don't want to get more parasites, so I don't want to have to eat more food. So, flare it is. Oh, boy. Alright. Through the train tracks. Will it actually let me leave this time? Leave Mystery Lake. There we are. Yeah. I actually can for once. Wow. Oh, there's a shortwave tower over there. Wow, though. That is a bit of a distance. Man, he wasn't kidding. Okay. I'll be perfectly honest, I thought the game was about to end, go to chapter 3 and end chapter 2 right there when I left. Uh, it didn't, which is good, but I, I thought it would have. I thought I was about to. That's the last thing that happened was, you know, you left Milton and then that, then that went, went through. Well, this is... I mean, at least the area is pretty clear. No real storm. Sky is pretty. Mostly open, thank God. Um, yeah, not much else going on around here. Some uprooted trees. A lot of up, uprooted trees, actually. Hmm. Rifle is good for the wolves. Apparently not good for, for deer, though. Or elk, or whatever that was. Uh, wait, so is that the short wave? No, other direction. Or oh, wait, are there two short waves? Oh, there is! Two separate short wave towers. I mean, I'm sure that could be pretty useful. But he said don't worry about the radio. And I feel weird going to one of the towers if he's just like, Nah, man, you're good. Don't worry about the radio. That's fine. We're fine. That's a huge, just open area over here. I don't know how I feel about it. I don't trust it. Nothing this open ever was okay. No decoys in inventory. 
Oh, decoys? What do you mean decoys? Do I have cool decoy things? Like rocks? Or our sound makers? I don't know. Uh-oh. Some birds are circling something over there. What are we doing on my weight? Uh, I'm doing okay because I, because I believe I'm well fed. Yep. Can't seem to open this. Yeah, there's a dead deer over there. I think. Yeah, I'll take the I'll take the body or I'll take the, take the carcass from it if I can. I mean, it's not a carnivore. Unless the bear is trying to trick me into going over here. Which it might. Ravaged deer carcass frozen. I got a hatchet. I can probably use these. Yeah, that should be fine. Won't take too long. Nice. 1.8 kilos. Not the worst thing. The birds will probably bail too. Maybe. There's a good chance that the hide and the guts could help me, but I feel a little bit weird with them. Oh my goodness gracious. Ah, oh, crap. God damn it. God damn it. I didn't- I was- I didn't think about the ice. What? What? Are are you <gasps> What? Are you actually kidding me? Bro. Dude. Homie G. Brother from another mother. Brontosaurus Rex. Brotato. What? How is my gun not... Okay. Okay, then. Oh, crap. And this is how I die. <sighs> Scary noise works a little bit, I suppose. Didn't reload my flare gun. Damn it. Oh, this is gonna be a challenge just getting to the goddamn place. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, crap. He's gonna start running, and I'm gonna fire my flare at him and. We'll do it again and again and again. At least my my body heat's going back up. So one of my clothing is a uh, piece of clothing is torn. Probably my body heat's only going up slightly. Ah, 
Damn it. Damn, there'll be this many wolves. Hmm. Seems like he's kind of chilling. I gotta be careful with this ice, too. Okay, here's the actual train car. He's still growling. But he's not quite running yet, like I am. am. Okay, he's still, he's still following me. Something's dead over there. But I just don't know what, and I don't really care too much to find out. How was that sound? That that wolf looked like it just fell over and died. Did that wolf just fall over and die? Or did I shoot it with my gun and it finally bled out? Was that the same wolf that I, that was earlier? Was it the same wolf? Oh my god. Oh, there's multiple. Oh, he wasn't kidding about multiple days. Oh, crap! Wow, he was not kidding. Okay, yeah. This makes a lot more sense now. Well... Damn it. I still don't want... Oh, God, getting hit by those wolves really, really put a damper on what I was trying to do. There's still a decent amount of the day left. Hopefully this fire actually starts. I need this fire though. I need to make some coffee to regenerate my sleepiness. And I also should probably cook some of that food. I really need this to work. Thank God. That's done. Okay. Cooking slot. Cook. Cooking pot. Tin of coffee. Excellent. Cooking slot. Boom. And those are the only two slots I've got. Okay, we need to add fuel. But that's why I took all these sticks. Alright, eight minutes already. Drink. This should be good. How's that work for my for my resting? Better, not great. I'm gonna cook one more thing of, of coffee. You, 45 minutes already, one hour left on that guy. Drink more coffee. Okay, good, pick up, 33 minutes till ready, I can wait, and then eat. That's solid. I can work with that. I'm still in a bit of pain. Oh crap, this is all frozen. Oh, of course it is, because I fell in my damn... Of course it is, because I fell in the damn place. Alright. Uh, I just need to get to that maintenance yard. God, I'm slow. Yeah, I'm really slow. Damn it. Wow, I am slow. I can't really sleep in here. Oh no, it's because I'm fighting the wind. I wasn't sure they would ever take the wind into account. Yeah, because if I walk backwards, I move at better speed. Damn. That's why he's constantly making this sprint sound. Because he's always fighting the wind. Oh, damn. I didn't think they would do something like that. 
I am not a fan of where my health is at, if I'm being honest. Not a fan. Yeah. Look at the... Again. Another one. Oh, okay. Yeah, just don't shoot. Just don't shoot. Br 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 well, I died. Well, I died. I... Okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Totally, totally chill. Totally chillaxed my Come dudes. On. Totally cool. Real neat. Why did you not shoot? Why did he not shoot? What in the world? Okay. Cook. Coffee. Put, put you away. Now, cook. One of this. Drink my coffee. All right, first first cup. Then cook more coffee. Add some add some coal. Can't add coal yet. Add a stick. Drink more coffee because I'm an addict. 35 minutes till ready. Eat food. Feel good. Pick up. Out of here. Saving just in case. You know what? I'm gonna save this one, and I'm probably gonna st I'm gonna, probably gonna stop right here because we're at about close to an hour. But more primarily, <laughs> I want to make get this whole trek going in one episode. So, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Next episode is on the screen at the moment, and I will see you hopefully soon as we try to get the beer, beer, beer killing. The beer killing spear. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye.